What's up everyone? Big Dave here with Family Dream Homes of Bowling Green. Today we're going to be taking an exciting tour of a beautiful Deer Valley home called the Amon. This home features three bedrooms, two baths. It's about 1,980 square foot. Uh, it's got a built-in porch, full drywall, the whole works. You're not going to miss this house, so stick around. What's up everybody? Welcome in. Let's take another home tour today. Today we're going to be taking a tour of this big Deer Valley home right here. This is the Amon. I'm sure y'all seen this before on some of the other different channels out here. But this ain't ours, so we're going to take a video of ours out here. That way you can kind of see what it looks like. Coming across the front here. Of course this home features vinyl siding with the hardy board soffit up there. The uh, fascia up there for the gutters. Got your cedar shutter package on all the windows. This has got that nice, beautiful, decorative box cedar look around the windows. If you guys can see that, kind of how it encases that and kind of kind of makes that dormer stand out a little bit different. A little gable up there with that extra cedar. You can see how that all kind of ties in. Looks really, really nice coming across the front here. And this porch that you see right here does not come with the home. This is just one we've got kind of stuck up here to, to kind of, you know, just try to show you what it looks like when you do that. You can see right here. Coming across here, looking into the master bath. Yeah, if y'all haven't seen this house before, you're going to love it. Obviously, you know, one of my all-time favorite stuff, you know, I love the OSB wrap. Your valley's standard on everything that they do. Recessed frame rails, helps your block go underneath the house. Zip around here real quick so y'all can see the back. Kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. All right, so this has got that almond color on the windows, which is kind of like, I don't know if it kind of comes through the camera, but it's kind of an off-white, like a cream color. Beautiful back porch built into the home right here. The cedar accents on it. Cedar post. There's a solid cedar post. And beautiful boxed-in headers up there. Looks really good. This is kind of designed for everybody to kind of add on to. You know, build out what you want. And some people just, they never do anything except put stairs here. Um, and just have this as their all-time porch, you know. Totally fine whichever way you choose. There's a door right there. comes off the master. And this door right over here comes off the dining room. So you got a nice, got two different points of entry and exit from this porch. Um, it's nice if you're kind of sitting there in the middle of the night and you wake up, want to go outside and just kind of feel the breeze, you can go walk right out your bedroom door. So it's really, really nice. All right. A little hot out here today. So I see you see sweating or perspiration <laughs> on the camera lens. I do apologize. Got absolute receptacles right there. Of course, we have all of our spots right here for water connections, electrical connections. Got your exterior faucet right there as well. All right, guys. That pretty much does it for the back of the house. I'm going to give you kind of a, a long look at it right there. Beautiful house. Got an indoor. So if you decide to build a garage off the edge of the house and tie up underneath the uh, gable up there and kind of come out with it, that will work beautifully. And of course, it does have a storm door. Um, Deer Valley installs those out on site when the house arrives, when they come to do their trim out. All right. Well, that's enough about the outside. Let's uh, go inside this house and take a tour. All right. I'm so excited to take a tour of this house. I can't wait for y'all to see this. It's one of my all-time favorites by Deer Valley. You're not going to want to miss this tour. So, guys, if you like what you see, as always, be sure to like, share, subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell. It helps out the channel and get this content. to the Amon by Deer Valley Homes guys kind of give you a little bit of a kind of a panoramic look here uh, we don't have any power onto this house right now we just kind of got it put together and got some decor in it so uh, we're working on that part next but hopefully you can still get a pretty good idea what this house looks like and why this home is just so so awesome everybody just loves this house so just kind of panning around here so you can see that is a wood burning fireplace man where do i need to start there's so many choices here now i'm not going to start with the master i'll start down here in the uh, kitchen area first let everybody kind of take a look 
You got a nice size dining table here. Now this is a six person table and you got plenty of room to come back even more this way between the wall and the floor and the, the wall stud here in the marriage line. So you got plenty of room to kind of expand that if you have company coming over uh, to make the table larger. I love this shiplap wall right here around these windows. As you can see, yes, folks, that's real wood. It's a stained wood. It's called a uh, weathered shiplap. So it's got a very nice kind of kind of nice stained look to it. Got your receptacles along the wall right there. Now this home, I will turn it right here and kind of show you. We get this house without any carpet. So these are the LVT tiles that run throughout the entire house. And you can see this marriage line right here. And the great thing about like Deer Valley, there's a few other builders out there that do it as well, um, that will kind of seam this up where you won't see, you know, the marriage points at all when they're done. And you can see how you can see how the house is in two pieces right there. That'll be finished out with drywall as long as, as well as a beam up here to kind of cover up the marriage point right here for you. So you don't have to worry about that. I wanted to show you the new texture. This is Deer Valley's new texture they have. It's a very, very low, it's called an orange peel. Um, it's very, very, very low texture to it. You know what I mean? Like big pieces sticking down or anything like that. So it's, you know, it should be really easy and manageable. It gives a nice modern feel to it. Uh, it looks really, really nice. All right. So coming in right here into the kitchen, right off the bat, I'm gonna show you, we've got a pantry right here. So nice little pantry behind this barn door, kind of hides it a little bit, gives you some nice features. Got that, that you know, that kind of real industrial feel to that door with the steel encased around that wood, that same weathered wood uh, ship flap in there. We did this house with the Tiki Hut accent on the walls. So it gives you a nice dark and light contrast if you can see it over here or not. But when you go from that dark wall to that white wall with that brown trim and that weathered canyon or that weathered uh, weathered wood look, it really kind of helps kind of make it pop a little bit, make it stand out. So we went with the white cabinets in here. Nice big island. This has that um, antique bourbon pine countertop that Deer Valley has. It's a waterfall edge for mica. So it's very high and very nice. Um, you don't have to worry about it with these as bad as like the chipping and the pieces popping off of it um, Because really the only seam or edge that you have to worry about is right on the very edge of the counter right here Because this is all seamless right there. So very nice feel looks really good. Very durable All right, come over here to your cabinets Got a nice pantry stack right here. Even though you have a pantry. It's always good to have some more pantry cabinets Of course, they're all soft clothes you Look at all the storage got all kinds of storage down here very nice and this is showing their new black hardware. It's a flat black finish. As you can see right here, they were doing the brush bronze, but that flat black looks really, really good. All right, coming over here, I'm gonna show you these drawers. This is on the back side of your island right here. Very large, nice. You can see the dovetails right there. How they're built in solid maple. These are Kith cabinets. Um, you got drawer over cabinets all the way across right there. Stainless steel appliances, and no folks, the dishwasher is not blue, and my camera is going nuts on me here. Uh, that is just a protective coating that they put on it. Um, this right here is your, their new tile color backsplash they have. Um, it's a groutless kind of tile, so uh, it's a lot easier to kind of maintain and clean and keep, you know, keep up with. Um, this is the big farmhouse sink, but this is the three-quarter bowl, so you still got your separate bowls in here, and I'll kind of turn it around here where you can maybe see it a little bit better, kind of how the angle is on it. So you got a large bowl on the left, and on the right you have a little bit smaller bowl. So, all right. Lots of receptacles. They're everywhere, all the way around this dude. You've got plenty of them. Plenty of places to plug up. It's got the Space Saver microwave over top of your range right here. Uh, like I said, this is normally lit up real well when the power's on, but we don't have that yet. So, just kind of showing you what we got. This one, this package here has a smooth top range. Um, with your oven below that, of course, your pan drawer at the bottom down there. Got your corner cabinet as you transition around right there. Got lots of nice space in that. You can see how deep that is. It's lots of room. So all the shelves are adjustable. Of course, your uh, as I've showed you before, your microwave is piped out of the house. So when you have it over your range like this, it does vent out of the top of the house. You don't have to worry about it just blowing and start circulating right back into the house on you. This is featuring the Frigidaire side-by-side -side stainless uh, refrigerator right here. And they have these in black stainless as well. Um, they have them in a French store style, which just has the doors up top. Um, the side-by-side, still got a lot of room in them. 
Um, got your ice maker and water in the door. Your freezer right there. You see, really, really nice. All right, so we're gonna come out of the kitchen. We're gonna take a keep on this wall that we're on right here. We're gonna go into the utility room. All right, so utility room. You got cabinets right there over top of the washer and dryer. You have your, of course, your inlets right there. You have your recess in the floor for your dryer vent to kind of recess this back in the wall. Uh, that way it's not kind of pushing your, your dryer and stuff out into the floor a little bit more. Really good, really nice idea. I like that. Got your water heater right here. An insulated door to kind of keep the heat down, and keep the noise down, stuff like that. Got your side door that we saw outside a while ago. Where you can put your attached garage or porch or carport or whatever you're thinking about. Right here you have your furnace. And this right here you see the ductwork hanging down. They finished that out. And that way all your crossovers and everything are all connected. Run super, super efficiently. I'm going to open up this breaker box. I know a lot of electricians out there message me asking about different wiring scenarios and if it's expandable. Now look at this. It comes pre-labeled. I mean, I just love that. You know, it's got everything's there. It tells you what's going on, all the different breakers. Now, all these manufactured homes are all set up on a 200 amp service now. Um, it's pretty much standard on everything. In case anybody's wondering out there. So if you have any old 100 amps kind of setups, uh, be sure to uh, check into that. Make sure you have those updated to 200 amp services. That way you can have that acquired. All right, coming in here to one of the bedrooms, one of the guest bedrooms. And I'll post these sizes up here for you. I'm trying to get it in an angle where you can kind of kind of see it here. Now this right here, we kind of got some storage stuff in here right now. Here's the storm doors that will go on the exit points of the house. So they they will all be attached to brown to match the door. Uh, some of the drywall material over here, that way you can see, you know, actual, actual drywall sheets and stuff like that. And I don't know if you can see this back here, but this is LP Tech Shield. This goes underneath the shingles of the house on all your Deer Valley homes. It's got a reflective foil on it. I've talked about it in some other videos um, that allows the heat, when it comes to those shingles, to be reflected back out of the attic and keep your attic about 30% cooler in the hot summer months. So, all right. Now, this is coming out of that bedroom we were just in right here. You're going to have your guest bath right in between these two bedrooms. So, got the Vanderbilt-style oversized tub. Um, very, very wide, so it's a really good soaker toilet. Um, if you have kids or, or whatever, they're going to love that because they got all kinds of space in there. All right, of course, you got your overhead can light right on top of it and your exhaust fan right there to kind of let the let the steam out of here. You got a single bowl sink vanity. You got two drawers here and a cabinet below that. Kind of gives you a look. I like their toilets. They have elongated toilets, if you can see that or not, so they're a little more comfortable. Um, they just, you know, just, just easier to get on and off of. So, all right, coming out of that one, we're going to go into the, extra, the second guest bedroom here. Um, like I said, I'll post the sizes of these so you guys can look. Got your can light, or not your can light, but your, uh, your dome style light up there. Two by six walls, that crown molding is two out. And of course, like I said, no carpet. I'll show you this closet right here while we're in here. As usual, we we'll put all our storage stuff in there. So, beautiful house, got lots of space. Um, if you're being in this Deer Valley, very customizable. Um, you can take a lot of options. I've enlarged pantries, I've done all kinds of stuff. Um, you know, just like I tell everybody, as long as you can uh, can afford it, they can pretty much do most most everything um, within reason with what they can what they can do. So, all right, we're coming back across the living room right here. Heading straight down past these beautiful windows off this back porch. We're going to go into the master bedroom here. Look how nice this room is. Lots of space. So big, I'm echoing pretty bad in here. I can already tell. So, But I'm going to come around here and kind of pan into this shower. This bath. Oh, 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 I don't shake it. No, I'm just kidding. All right, we'll come on in here so you can see this. This is a true kind of his and hers kind of style bathroom. You got the vanity over here. You can see, you know, nice area to sit down and kind of do your makeup and do your fixings and all that good stuff. Got your own space. Got an extra linen closet area right here. So towels, 
extra clothes. They can pretty much do this space kind of however you want to do it. If you want a tub in here, it would go in this area right there. Got a closet right here. So this has got a his and hers closet. So corner style walk-in closet. As you can see, nice space there. Shut this door here. You got a nice double-sided walk-in shower right here. This is Deer Valley Signature Shower. You can come in from both sides of this, from either side of the bathroom. You can see it's just a walk-through style. And this is also available in a tile, full like full tile on the floor. Uh, this has the fiberglass floor pan in it, but you can do it with the full tiles if you want. And it's a little bit lower step in as well when you do that. Got the double wand, got your wand up there. You got your rain shower uh, head up there above you. So you can really get a nice good shower and uh, clean everything real well. So, all right. Coming around here to the other side of the bathroom. Now this one here has these pantry stack cabinets as you see right here. Uh, lots of extra tile storage, you know, just for goodies. And, you know, my wife's got so much stuff I can't even keep up with. She's got so many different... I didn't know they had that many tools for hair. It's just crazy. So, but you got all kinds of space here for extra linens, towels, whatever. Of course, you have the other closet right here as well. I'm sorry about the lighting. I know we, we don't have our power turned on yet. So, I'm just trying to do the best I can. I wanted to get this house up here on the channel so you guys can see it and see what it's all about. And this one is for sale right off the lot. So, we are doing a huge inventory blowout sale the 14th, 15th, and 16th of September. So that's Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, we're, we're selling a ton of our stock unit inventory, trying to make room for some two, 2024 models and stuff. So got your private throne room right here. You can sit in there and have some privacy and not disrupt the, the rest of the going on in the bathroom in here. So, all right, I'm gonna pan back around here. Now, Normally I come out of the master and I kind of end my videos, but we're going to take a little tour out here on this porch real quick. This is coming out of the master. Coming right out into this big, nice porch area. So as you can see, just got a, a ton of extra space, beautiful windows. You can do a lot out here and you can come on off of this and build on out and do a big deck and do a pool if you want. You can just do some steps. Um, just a lot of, a lot of different options and stuff. So, this is looking back at the house. Come, come look at the living room from the outside. And come over here is your kitchen. Looking back in there. So, but just a beautiful, beautiful house. Well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this tour. I know that this, this home has been out there before um, on different channels and stuff like that. But it's not a bit on Big Dave's channel. So, it is now. I'm going to have it posted up for you. Um, as always, like, share, and subscribe, guys. It really helps the channel out. Uh, leave me some comments that way I can kind of, you know, answer those questions and kind of find out what you're looking for out there. But guys, I appreciate you so much. Thanks for watching. God bless. Hey guys, thank you for taking another exciting tour with me today. If you'd like more information on this home, uh, be sure to check out the link in the description below. Um, leave me some comments, any questions you might have. I love answering those questions and getting back with folks. I get lots of critiques and, and, and you know, kind of some things that I need to work on, some things I need to add in there. And, and I don't know if anybody don't t doesn't tell me. So I really like the, to answer those and respond to those. I really, really do appreciate it. So uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little notification bell up there for me. Uh, that way, if any new content is posted, you'll be aware of it and you can follow the channel. Uh, be sure to share it and share it with all your friends about it and get people to come out here. Uh, it really helps us out. And I just wanted to let you know about pricing and stuff. I don't put prices on my channel. I know a lot of people will uh, get upset with that. Um, there's just such a variance uh, in pricing from you know setup cost to freight to manufacturers. There's just so many different things and a lot of things that people don't realize, uh, even codes in your area. So um, we could be talking thirty to $60,000 difference in here. So it's kind of one of those things where I don't post it to the channel um, because sure enough, as soon as I post it, that's you're going to be like, hey, Big Dave said it was this much and it's not that much, you know, so or, or it's more, you know, and, and I don't want you to, to get in one of those situations. So, uh, but guys, I just really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really do appreciate you guys uh, tuning in, all the subscribers and followers out there. Uh, I really do appreciate it. I know I've uh, been kind of sporadic with my videos here lately. We've been changing out inventory. 
Um, so we're getting a bunch of new houses set up. So I'm trying to get those posted up as fast as we get them. That way you guys can see them. So uh, visit me out here at our Bowling Green location. It's at 4420 Russellville Road. That's the only place you're going to find me at. So <laughs> come down here and say hi. We'll swap some stories. Uh, we'll have a good time. I promise you guys. So uh, again, if you need anything at all, if I, even if I can't service you in my area, uh, I'll be more than happy to try to put you in contact with somebody in your area that may carry the same home um, that may be able to take care of you. So guys, until next time, God bless.